thing one tonight, Donald Trump spoke at a dinner from the RNC last night, a fundraiser, which was held at the Trump International Hotel in Washington, or in other words, it was yet another example of how the Trump family continues to line its pockets through the presidency. It also presented the president with an opportunity to brag about his cognitive abilities. Trump had the White House press pool squirted out after just the first few minutes, but Breitbart says it obtained audio of the reindeer of the speech, which jives with some of the notes we've heard from other reporters who have people inside. They didn't release the audio, but wrote about it. Trump said in the beginning of the test he had to identify sketches of animals, which was pretty easy. Later in the test, he explained he had to repeat disassociated words as the test administrators asked him to repeat them at different points in the test. Let me tell you, those last 10 questions are hard. There aren't a lot of people that can do that. Now, just to be clear, this is a test to just see if you de have dementia or not. It's, it's not an IQ test or an aptitude test. Um, anyway, that's how the president did on the memory part of the exam. But here's the thing. Life presents us with memory tests every day. And he had a much harder time with one this week in West Virginia. That's thing two in 60 seconds. <laughs> Hours before Trump reportedly admitted the memory part of his cognitive test was hard, the president made an appearance at the Republican retreat in West Virginia. At the beginning of his speech, Trump, reading from a teleprompter, thanked Senator John Cornyn. Then seconds later, forgot that he had just thanked Senator John Cornyn. Senate Majority Whip John Cornyn. John, thank you. Great job. House Majority Whip Steve Scalise. Again, Steve. Thank you. House Majority Leader Kevin McCarthy. Kevin. Chair John Thune and House Conference Chair Kathy McMorris Rogers. Did they forget your name, John? I don't know. It's, what's going on here? John Cornyn, everybody knows. They didn't put his name up, but that's okay. Senate Majority Whip John Cornyn. John, thank you. Great job. The president didn't do much there to back up his very frequent claim of having, quote, one of the great memories of all time. I don't have teleprompters here, folks. I don't need teleprompters. It's called, like, up here, and it's called memory, and it's called other things. I have a good memory and all that stuff, like a great memory. I have a really good memory. And I have a very good memory. And I have a good memory, like a great memory. I have a great memory. And I'm blessed with a great memory. One of the great memories of all time. Thank <laughs> you.